Greetings, assalamu alaikum, welcome, wa'am, namaste, ola, bonjour, konnichiwa, ni hao, chin dobre. Welcome to Race and Space. Welcome and good morning. It's about being active and saying, actually, it's not okay to just agree tacitly and do that kind of bystander, isn't this awful? We have all these differences, and yet, in the same way, we're, we're still human beings. There isn't anything like that that I know of around EDI. The... When are we going to be accepted in this country and not being the pain? Welcome to Race and Space. Uh, so let's get down to this straight away. You've made people feel um, that they can be free and honest with what they say and that they that there's a place for them to be able to, um, you know, progress the ambition that they have in this area. I'd love to have Curly and Rich in every room <laughs> in the land <laughs> talking to people about this. Definitely it's achieved what we set out to be. Thank you so much to the guys for all the work that you've done. You've been absolutely amazing. Couldn't have asked for anything more. I've been fortunate enough to join every one of these. So I really thank you for for the, the, the sacred space that's been created. Those um, conversations build confidence. We have to actually give people language, etc., to be able to to really support themselves. Really, using the resources you've left us with a fabulous legacy to then take this forward even further. I just want to thank you for what's been started today. It's been absolutely well. Five weeks ago, it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. But I genuinely, I've never been brave enough to explore the topics that we have explored in that kind of race and space environment and it's made it accessible and easy I was about to say comfortable but it hasn't been comfortable you know and, and there's been times where my camera's been off and I've been awkwardly sat thinking do I ask that question do I make that point and just the very fact that I've felt brave enough to do so is testament to the environment that you've created Last year, things changed, gave me 2020 vision. I vowed to go on a self-education mission. Books, documentaries, a podcast series, a safe space to learn and voice any queries. Now it's almost time to say goodbye. Thank you for accepting me as a white ally. Oh, wow. Hey. Give a big round of applause. If you don't meet the mics, brave Lucy Jones from Dudley, smashing it with the poetry straight away. <laughs> Um, it's been an amazing journey. We are at the start of our journey. And I think in terms of this, the vision for this safe space, it, you know, it, it is about sustainability. It's about how we're now going to take the learning and back into our own organisations and educate people about systemic racism, about inequality that exists within our organisation. But first of all, I want to thank you to all the colleagues that have taken time out. It's nice for you to have shared this journey with us, it's just the beginning. You know, one of the things that we've tried to do in putting this together is turning how conversations happen using memes, videos, dance, all those kinds of things that Curly and Richard put together. Everything is board reports or committee reports or, you know, let's change the way that we communicate. I want to hear poetry for you and for me. I want to hear some words from Joanna Lee. I really enjoyed the podcast series and it's really got me to look internally as well as externally and I just want to pledge to continue to listen and learn and stand up for all at every turn. What a rhyming pledge there. I'm impressed. Extra points. Very, very well done. Uh, who's next, girlie? <laughs>